Hey, Clark. You okay? Fine. Just doing a little research. Have you heard anything about Lana's meeting with Quan? Oh, I'm sure it'll work out. Hey. So how'd it go? Well, it's interesting. Bottom line it, when can we send out the next issue? Day after tomorrow. Cool. Except, uh, um, Quan made me the new editor. Okay, um, rewind. Uh, I need you to say that last part again. After I made my case, Quan said that if I had that much passion, I should be in charge. Uh, I don't believe this. Chloe, it's the only way he'd reopen the paper. So what, cheerleading's not enough? Maybe the editor of the school newspaper looks better on a college application. That isn't it. I just figured you could ghostwrite until we got you reinstated. So, okay, so then I would work for you. The paper would still be yours. Wait, wait, wait. Chloe, think about it. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> it figures you'd side with her. I'm not taking anyone's side. Yeah, right, Clark. You're completely objective in all things, Lana. Gotta go. No, please, Clark, stay. Take my desk. Chloe, this isn't what you think. You know what the weirdest part is? For a millisecond, I almost thought you were my friend. Kid. What do you want, Phelan? Hey, your father came to see me. He seems like a really good man. Always putting his family first. Now, if I were you, I'd start thinking like him. I assume you've had a chance to read my father's proposal. I didn't have to. Oh. So you've added mind reading to many abilities. I know why you're here, Victoria. Sir Harry wants to take over Luther Corp, and he needs my shares to do it. Your father didn't dream up this little plan, did he? Do you think if you take over Luther Corp, Daddy will finally give you the respect you deserve? He won't, Victoria. So what are you suggesting? You came to play on my hatred of my father. Now I'm going to play on yours. Why take one company when you can take two? You know they'd probably kill us. Probably. But that's what makes life interesting. 